Hey guys, Tatsugos58 here, and tonight I'm going to be checking out the new announcement trailer for Gremlins The Wild Batch, the second season to the Gremlins Secret of the Mogwai show that came out last year. Now, I've been a Gremlins fan for a very long time. I've been watching it for about uh, 13 years now, and I've been waiting for a very long time for new Gremlins content. And when I watched the show last year, I was absolutely not disappointed in it. The animation was amazing. I liked the new characters, the new Gremlins. It was really good. And uh, I was hoping they would do a second season, and it looks like we're getting that. Anyway, uh, coincidentally, a few weeks ago, I went to the Motor City Comic Con. I talked to Gray Griffin, and as you, many of you may have seen in my post, I got her autograph, so that was really cool. Anyway, uh, one of the things I asked her was uh, to confirm a rumor that was going around on the internet. You see, uh, a script, the cover for a script was revealed for a Scooby-Doo Gremlins crossover movie called Scooby-Doo Gremlins Getaway. And I asked her if, if it was re real and if she could confirm it since she was one of the major voice actors in Scooby-Doo. She said she didn't know anything about it, but she did say that she appeared in the Gremlin show last year. And I recognized her voice right away in the show, so I knew exactly who she was talking about there. And as a result of that, I asked a follow-up question asking if she would consider returning to the show. But she said she quit, actually, because she actually voiced the, the Gremlins in the show, including their leader, Madame Claw, who was... Uh, it was actually a pretty good villain, actually. I liked her uh, personality. Like, she was the stripe of the show. Anyway, she said she had to strain her voice a lot, so I, I don't really blame her, because constantly doing the gremlin voices was not easy. They do like, Yeah! Yeah! Gizmo! Gaga! Like, you know, they, they, had, they had to strain their... She had to strain her voice kind of like that. So, I don't blame her for leaving, but she didn't exactly say no to there being a second season. And it looks like tonight we got an official look, first look at it. Now, like I said, I've been a huge Gremlins fan for a very long time. But if I had to rank crazy creatures, the Gremlins are the second on the list. The top on my list are the Raving Rabbids. Uh, still a huge fan of the Mario crossovers and the Rabbids TV show. The Gremlins and Smash second. And Minions would have to be my third. I'm not really too big on the Minions that much. But Rabbids and Gremlins, uh, those are my uh, top uh, Those are my top two. So, anyway, let's jump right in and see what the Wild Batch has to offer us tonight. And click. Oh, it's just the intro for the first season. Oh, there's the, there's the Goo Gremlin. <laughs> okay, looks like they updated the ending of the song a little bit. New instruments involved. And it looked like there was a new Gremlin opening the box, too, so that's something. Okay, so it wasn't really much. It just kind of showed us a new intro for the season, so. It was the same one. They just kind of had some minor updates here and there. But I'll give you guys a little context on the that goo gremlin that was in the jar there. Anyway. Everyone knows the gr three rules to taking care of a mogwai. No bright light, don't get them wet, never feed after midnight. Well, anyway, in the show they introduced a lesser known fourth rule. And that is if a gr mogwai never gets hurt or injured, they will live forever. And if someone eats a mogwai they will gain immortality. And that was kind of like the main focus of the first season. Anyway, Riley Green, the villain of the show, he sought to gain immortality and he ate one of the green gremlins. But it turns out it only works if you eat the the furry one, the furry mogwai. Anyway, he ended up learning that the hard way and he ended up barfing out the gremlin. <laughs> and he ended up becoming like a little pile of goo. And he just kind of been in a jar for, like, the remainder of the season. <laughs> Honestly, I was wondering what they were going to do about that. Because he was still clearly alive. But, I mean, I mean, he's still kind of out there somewhere. So, I always kind of wondered what was going to... How it was going to... That was going to end. 
Now, the last season actually ended on cliffhanger. The, uh, one of the gremlins, Noggin, who was actually the smart gremlin, and he was actually able to talk. He gained the ability later in the several, epi several episodes into the show. He's voiced by George Sakai, by the way, and he actually did a very great job. Anyway, he survived at the end. He escaped on a ship heading to San Francisco. And that's kind of an interesting twist because... Well, what is he aiming to do? Will he uh, gain? Will he uh, get wet and make a new army and become the leader, or what? I'm not sure, but I look forward to finding out what's going to happen with that and see if uh, Gizmo, Sam, and all the other characters end up going to the San Francisco and they end up stopping him. Anyway, a little context of the show itself: it's a prequel to the original Gremlins movie, which actually, today is the 30th anniversary, coincidentally, so that's really cool. Right time to introduce a new season, I suppose. But yeah, it takes place uh, several decades before the events of the first movie. It focuses on the old Chinese guy when he was just a kid and how he first found Gizmo, so that's really cool. We got some major backstory moments in that season. And I look forward to seeing how it will continue in the Wild Batch. And it looks like it's coming out this fall. So that's something to look forward to. I swear, there's a lot of stuff coming out this fall now. At first, there was a lot of stuff coming out around my birthday. And now stuff is coming out this fall. <laughs> I gotta tell you, pretty crazy year so far. <laughs> anyway, that does it for this reaction video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Later.